All right, last uh, journal review for the evening. I hope you have uh, stuck with me. I appreciate this very much if you have, so let's get straight into it. This is the Brown Artist Lofts uh, A5 bullet journal that you can get from um, Michaels. And I think I didn't show you the difference in the, um, the height of these notebooks. So the Exceed is taller, the Bush term is in the middle, and the Artist Loft is actually shorter and let's see about their width pardon my camera um they're all about the same width so there is that now i'm not going to sit here and go over a page and paper gsms with you uh and the all that stuff because these have been reviewed a million and twenty times by people However, I have yet to see someone completely finish journals and review them afterwards. So I hope that you appreciate and I hope that you glean something from what I'm doing here. There's no impression down here of Artist Loft uh, and there's actually no impression of Artist Loft in here at all. Um, the pages aren't numbered. The, the, in the Lutch term and the Exceed, they are numbered, but the pages aren't numbered in here, so I actually had to go ahead and number my pages on my own. So here's your index, and I keep track by, you know, all that good stuff. And the first thing you can see right here is that in the Artist Loft notebook, um, some of my, this is a Diamine, Diamine Oxblood. And up here is uh, different uh, autumn oak, and then this one is uh, this one right here is private reserve sepia. Sepia, and you can see that from here down, the fountain pen ink came through. Um, so we start this here, and here's my Conpecky. And even in the middle here, you can see where the fountain pen ink is coming through from the other page. We were watching all the Jurassic Park movies. I was, you know, my husband and I were showing my kids like everything from the beginning. Um, and so here we are, uh, Irishizuku ink, and I did some stampaging. So I wanted to try out some more stamps and see how that went. Oh, and I covered it up. Boo. Okay, but there's more in here. So, as you see, there's lots more journaling, and this is just the kind of journaling that I do. Um, a lot of stream of consciousness journaling. And I have an ink rotation and a pen rotation to make sure that I am using all of my inks and my pens all the time. If you watch my previous video, you will I explained that. Um, let's see... There are some pages where I left some white space, if you could see. This was from 9-11. And here we go. Do I have any? Okay, so this is Diamine Autumn Oak, and I was trying to get myself to love it, and I really don't. Um, let me find some areas where I can show you. So when I'm writing in most notebooks, the bleed through and stuff really doesn't bother me too badly because I fill all of my notebooks with just writing and journaling over anyway. You can see a little bit here. The dots there on the other side. And it's that same ink. Let's see some more. Now this, the pages in here feel really soft. These pages actually feel much softer than the Bush Term notebook, but in terms of the overall softness of Notebooks, the Exceed wins in that um, in that race. And please don't think that I am, you know, making a big, huge, oh, Exceed notebooks are the best. I don't know what notebooks are the best. I'm still learning. I haven't found my super amazing go-to notebook yet. I'm using what I have and what I find and what I can afford. This was an ink that I mixed up with. Uh, I was trying to get myself to love J. Urban Olive Vert, but um, I just don't. So I was mixing ink and trying to change the colors and just was like, I give up. Um, let's see. 
here is some more little bits that I left you can see the now I know you're probably saying Claire that's really not a big deal well it is because people are buying these journals and they're they're saying that this is the you know this is better than exceed this is better than all these other notebooks oh here's a good one but the fact of the matter is that it's really not especially if you're a fountain pen user now with regular um with regular pens like this i'm a hard writer um, and sometimes i have to remind myself claire you don't have i'm trying to find my bic i don't I have it. I don't know where it is. But I have to remind myself to not write so hard because I'm just ingrained and so used to over the years of holding my, my bic and pushing down really hard. But that's one of the things I love about using fountain pens is that over time I'm teaching myself not to write hard. But even though I'm doing that, it's still going through the pages. And I actually even changed the way I hold my pen so that I'm putting less pressure. Usually I write like this. Dur -dur -dur. But I found that if I hold it this way and put my finger over top like this, it is comfortable, but I'm putting less pressure down while I'm writing. And so this is how I've been writing throughout this entire notebook. Um, some inks are worse about bleeding through, others are not. Um, this is, this was some pretty green ink, again, dewdrop ink. And it came through, as you can see, as well. Some places worse than others. And here is some more little red ink that I just stamped for the heck of it. Um, and you can see right up here, it kind of, but it's not so bad with the red. But here are the black birds again. I, actually this one red is a little bit more so. The black birds. Oh, I wrote black over it. Oh, idiot. Um, and this is another stamp that I used. It's really cool. I didn't really notice very much uh, bleed through with this one, but it was really cool. I just mainly wrote over it. Um, and this is where I started using pilot, uh, Private Reserve Scipia ink. And then I was like, no, I don't want to use it because I want to savor it and save it. So here is um, a regular old black ink. And it comes through real good right there. But I still feel like Oxblood and Emerald of Shavor come through even more extraordinarily. Um, but you know, we can't be relegating ourselves to only using certain inks when we're journaling because that takes away a lot of the fun of journaling itself. Um, let's see. I don't really see I don't really see any coming through over there um, again I would appreciate it if uh, you see anything in here that's um, that you don't like I'd appreciate it if you just respect my privacy I'm trying to flip through quickly but I'm trying to look for the particular inks that I know are worse than others again this is Emerald Chivore and it actually clogged my pen so that this pen sucks um, but it actually wasn't the pen itself. It was just the ink. So I left these pages blank. I, I couldn't be prevailed upon to continue writing in this notebook because um, I really didn't like it. So let me show you the important part. Back here is my, uh, my swatches, my ink swatches. So they're normal swatches. Now this is the white paper. So I feel like this white paper really looks, they, uh, you can even see the sheening on Emerald of Shavor really well. Um, and Emerald of Shavor is one of the ones that came through. You can see uh, my, I can never remember, oops, the Kozumosu through. Um, that, and then Back here, the this is more emerald of Shavor. I, I always get it everywhere when I use it. Um, this is private reserve sepia, and you see how that even such a, a light ink, like really. And then up here is um, Papier Plume number seventeen, and that even. 
trying to, I, I hope you can see, it would defeat the entire process if you couldn't, but the lighting in here is not the most, I need to get another soft box and put it up on the other side too. Um, as you can see, this ink, these ink burps went through multiple pages. Um, this is of course my, I also do a pen and ink blog and yeah. Oh, and this pen, this uh, notebook does not come with a back little pocket. I, anyway, I don't find that I actually ever use that pocket really, but you know, it's just something to note in case um, it is important to you. But anyway, so in order of okayness, I would have to rate the Exceed notebook at the very top. Now, does this mean I'm going to go buy a whole bunch more Exceed notebooks? I have one more on my shelf, and I'm actually avoiding using it because it has like 250-something pages in it, and I can't. I have ADHD, and I get bored so quickly, and I go through notebooks very quickly as well. So I went through this notebook in about a month, um, and it's the same for all of them. And so at about like 20 pages from the end, I start getting antsy again, and I just want to move to another notebook. <sighs> But with a 250 page notebook that like takes so much more time but anyway so in the order of awesomeness I would say exceed first then the artist loft notebook and at the very end bush term and that is my review of these three uh, journaling notebooks and uh, bullet journals and I hope that you have taken away some kind of information from this um, if not, I apologize. <laughs> so coming up soon, I will be reviewing the notebook that I'm currently using. And then there's another notebook after that that I will be reviewing. I think it's called The Jumping Fox. And if you have any other notebooks that you would like for me to fill up with all my journalings and bad handwriting and then review for you, please leave them down below and I will get those notebooks and I will fill them up and I will review them for you because that's what I do. If you like this video, if I helped you in any way, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I would love to have you join my little Claire group of people. If you have any ideas of some other videos you'd like for me to do for you, please let me know down below and I will get right on that. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you wonderful, wonderful days. Bye-bye.